so I recently got the Amos bow and I finally managed to max it out at level 90. This of course required a lot of Mora which I didn't have and as well as some prototype weapons for the crystals. Here we are with Masanori somewhere in Inazuma. We got Aloy and that's really the only character that's going to matter today because we're not going to be swapping to any of the other characters at all. But I will have Rosari here just for the cryo resonance. Uh, and I don't know, maybe we'll swap to Zhang Leng just to try out uh, some melts. Got something for you. You're stuck now. Now we okay. Let's swap to some characters. So let's try VV shredding as well. I can actually land a headshot. 20k with VV shred and ice rush active. By the way, keep in mind that ice rush does in fact increase your charge shot damage, but only in the sense that it increases your cryo damage bonus. So that is why I was doing more damage there with VV shred. Going to 18k instead of 15k, so that's the big difference right there. Now let's try and do a bit of reverse melting as well while we're at it. 24,000 on a reverse melt. So that's the kind of damage that we're looking at. So what if I do... Oh, hang on. What if I try to do something weird? Ah! BB Shred and Reverse Melt and Ice Rush, 30k. And of course, for those who are interested, let's uh, let's actually try to use my ultimate. I'm gonna increase my crit rate by a significant amount. Gonna try to do a reverse melt. This is a new one. 60k on an alt if I manage to get my crit rate to at least an acceptable level using Rosaria, and then also doing a reverse melt with Shang Lang. So let's have a look at the build that I am using on Aloy, and this is the build that I am using on Aloy. So because I'm using Amos bow. I have 2,000 attack, but here's the thing, my crit rate is sitting at 22%. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, yeah, once you see that crit rate, you're going to be like, wait, hold on, what? But keep in mind, headshots are guaranteed crits. So like I said, the weapon I'm using is Amos Bow, maxed out, and the build that I'm of course using on my artifact is going to be a four-piece Wanderers. So if you have a look at these substats on these artifacts, that should pretty much show you why I have so little crit rate. I ha have not been lucky enough to get particularly good crit rate rolls on my Wanderer's set. It's just that sad. Obviously, Aloy has no consolations, and I have triple crowned her, as I have mentioned in a previous video. So, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Who else uses Charge Shot Aloy? And maybe if you use Charge Shot Aloy, you have a much better luck in getting, oh, I don't know, better artifacts. If I could get God Roll artifacts and potentially get somewhere around the 50% crit rate with Amos Bow on Aloy, I think I would be very, very happy. If I could also somehow pair that with 200% crit damage and then maybe have about 1,800, 1,900 attack, I think I'd be a pretty happy camper. I have tried running this with Four Piece Blizzard Strayer Aloy just to see if the Four Piece Blizzard Strayer set, of course, helping out with that crit rate would still provide similar amounts of damage. It seems like it kind of cuts my critical damage, in the sense that it cuts my charge shot headshot in half, i.e., where I would normally be doing around 15,000 damage on my charge shot headshots. I end up doing something along the lines of 9,000 on a four piece Blizzard Strayer. So I don't know what the dealio is with there. I kind of didn't expect it to be that big of a difference, but that appears to be my current observation. I'll probably have to continue testing and seeing what the dealio is going on with that. But that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more Genshin Impact action. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>
ことはあるかなふっ<笑>ちょっとしたテクニックさ勝負はついたどうすることもできないわね。<笑>